G'day guys, Billy here from West Australia. Well fellas, I've got a heap of beautiful West Australian sandalwood trees what I've successfully germinated. I planted them around five months ago. So I've got them all over my garden. So there's three that are coming up here. But these probably won't survive because they need a host to grow, to attach to. They need their roots to attach to a host, such as like a native grass species, like something like that. You see my tadpoles? Some tiny tadpoles there, guys. But yeah, so they need a host, like an acacia species, um, a citrus species, such as a lemon, a mandarin tree or an orange tree, native grasses and so forth. So what we're gonna do right now is plant some Acacia acuminata, some jam trees seeds. So here's some more here. I've got them all in these round concrete sections. So we'll head over and I'll show you my uh, sandalwood seeds and the Acacia acuminata seeds, commonly known as the jam tree. So the jam tree, J-A-M, as in raspberry jam. So what we've got here, guys, is a uh, sandalwood nut, that one there, and that's a Kwangdong nut, very similar. Same method with planting these seeds, guys. You've got to um, probably use a hacksaw and cut through a little, little bit of the way, and that way when you plant these seeds, they're going to... The seed inside is going to absorb all the water. The shell's going to go all soft and crack open. And the um, sandalwood seed or the kwangdong seed will um, actually start to sprout. But as you can see there, that kwangdong, sorry, the sandalwood seed there, you can see the little crack. So that's how they would germinate in the wild. But just to be safe, just use a hacksaw blade and cut a little bit into the nut. And uh, that's how you'll germinate the uh, Kwangdong or sandalwood tree. I also soaked these in water for around 24 hours prior to using a hacksaw. Oh, sorry, I, I cut them first for hacksaw blade. Then I soaked them in a bucket of water for around 24 hours just so the seed could absorb some moisture. But anyway, like I say, five months ago, I planted all these sandalwood trees. So these are all sandalwood trees. So what we're going to do guys is just quickly plant some jam tree seeds once again. With these jam tree seeds you pour boiling hot water over the seeds and uh, let them sit for around 24 hours and then you plant them. So there's some more jam tree seeds there and that's the actual seed pods. You can see what this black seeds sit in. And these are all beautiful sandalwood tree nuts. And they use the sandalwood tree for oil, for perfume. It's worth many thousands of dollars per tonne. Very, very sought after. Sandalwood trees are quite rare in my area because in the early 1900s, sandalwood cutters wiped out a huge um, percentage of the sandalwood trees in my area. Not just in my area, but all around southern West Australia. It's very, very sought after, guys. There's even um, a lot of illegal sandalwood cutters these days who illegally cut sandalwood and sell it on the black market for perfume ma manufacturing and so forth. But anyway, let's crack open one of these seeds. These seeds are actually edible. And another way in the wild how these seeds, the sandalwood tree uh, nut and the kwangdong seeds actually uh, germinate in the wild is the emus would swallow these and through the digestion of their guts would help germinate the seeds in their um, emu poop, the faeces, or their emu scat. So the emus would eat these in the wild, go through the digestive system, and they'd poo it out, and that would actually cause a beautiful sandalwood tree or a kwangdong tree to grow. So the Kwangdong tree and the sandalwood tree are very, very similar. Both um, nuts are edible, and these skins are usually a beautiful red um, 
soft skin you can eat but these are quite very dry you can just see a little bit of red still left in it and you can actually eat the skin people make kwang dong jam out of the skins um, and relishes and sandwich spreads and so much more so we'll crack open this sandalwood uh, nut and we'll show you the actual edible seed inside it's, it's quite nice guys I've just got to set this up so it doesn't roll um, hold on find something we'll use that piece of wood there and that's going to roll too alright let's crack open this nut and we'll show you the actual nut inside and it's actually um, very popular on the uh, market these days edible sandalwood nuts so obviously also Aboriginal people would survive on these as well so there you are kind of looks a bit like coconut we'll just go back a bit guys There you are. Look at that. Beautiful little tiny coconut. Looks like a coconut. Actually tastes a little bit like coconut. So that white nut inside, that's the edible part. And that's how the sandalwood trees grow. There you are. Beautiful sandalwood nuts. Mmm. A nice taste fellas doesn't really taste like coconut can't really explain what the flavor is it's a bit <laughs> woody but yeah obviously very very good for you but anyway let's plant some of these jam tree seeds in these sandalwood trees there Okay, so I've got my pencil here guys, so we're going to just put a hole like that, a pencil, on either side, we'll plant two seeds per one, so hopefully at least one will germinate. And I'll be doing the same for those concrete rings. So there you are, one seed plant that in the hole that doesn't look like a uh, that seed there doesn't look like um, a jam tree seed it's really really big but we'll plant it see what comes up but like I say guys all these sandalwood trees and kwangdong trees need a host otherwise the seedling or the sapling like that's going to grow in a pot and eventually it's going to die because the root can't find a host plant like I say citrus native uh, grasses um, and all other species but you need to do your research so I'll do a bit of research guys on the internet and I'll Send you a, I'll put a link in the description about sandalwood tree and kwangdong tree hosts, what type of species you, seeds you need to find. So, so that's it, guys. You can hear my beautiful magpie nipper, it's a baby magpie, just starting to learn to sing and talk. So anyway guys, I hope this video helps and I'll continue planting these seeds in these pots and uh, hopefully we'll get some nice jam trees growing out of these pots so those centerwood trees can actually tap onto the acacia or jam tree roots. So I hope you understand my video guys, it's a bit unrehearsed. But like I say, really, really easy to grow sandalwood nuts if you can find them. So, there you are. There's 
thousands of these nuts in a place where I know of. Um, so all of these nuts came from one beautiful old sandalwood tree that I found. And one day I'll pot these ones up as well when the time's right. I'll do a uh, sandalwood tree planting rotation. And like I say, these saplings here are around four to five months old. And I've had a high, high success rate in germinating most of the seeds. And also before I go, guys, this is all my veggies just there for summer. They're going to be planted over there eventually. But all of these contain uh, jam tree seeds. So they're just single, going to be single jam tree. tree. So they're going to be single jam tree single jam trees acacia acuminata and same goes with these ones guys these ones here about a week ago i planted uh, a heap of sandalwood nuts and kwongdong nuts and uh, i've got to actually put the um sorry i planted a heap of uh, sandalwood tree seeds and kwongdong tree seeds in all of these pots here and these ones have already got the acacia acuminata or jam tree seeds in them so around two to three seeds per pot with the Kwangdong and sandalwood tree nuts. So anyway guys, I'll give you an update when these start to sprout one day, probably in another five to six months. So we'll keep going. I right, hope it helps fellas. I'll put links below to photos of the beautiful jam tree. It's like a wattle uh, tree species. It's got beautiful yellow flowers on it. it lives to over a hundred years of age. All right guys. Catch you later. See ya.